we first started Star Lord's uh, design, we were primarily focused on getting a feeling of a, a space pirate look. We researched a long time with that, but eventually on the team, me and uh, other people started having this idea of what if Star Lord's favorite band when he was a kid was actually named Star Lord. Everything from then just kind of exploded and we found his obsession with Star-Lord the band, his 80s style, all this explained his design by him putting the patch of his favorite band in his jacket. Sun-Lord, right? It's Star-Lord. We peppered his design with uh, little Easter eggs from the 80s, which with pins on his lapel and of the vinyls from the 80s and the Space Invader icon and his, of course, his Star-Lord pin. I guess the word that would define the design of Star-Lord the most would be space metal. Yeah, like rock and roll. <laughs> Storytelling for the design of the Guardians then became really important. Uh, from from Star-Lord then we, we found a bit um, Drax with his tattoos. In our design we actually have a backstory that the, the tattoos uh, are circular in nature and every circle he adds means he won a battle which also informed the environment of Katath, his home planet, which everything is based on these circle designs, the tombstones, the arches. So all the architecture was then derived from the tattoos. As for Gamora, it was very important. We had to give her a very strong, powerful look. So we came up with the idea of going back a bit to what they had done in the comics and we were really inspired by one of the looks of the black and white armor. We even had little touches of uh, like American fists on all her knuckles, on her feet, which emphasizes that she's ready to punch, kick, kill at any moment. As for Rocket, I'd actually have to say that Rocket uh, was the easiest one to nail to, as a design because he's so upfront in what he likes. He likes explosions, he likes grenades, he likes to tinker. So, of course, we needed to, to put that on his design. We needed him to have his goggles because they're actually gameplay related. We have a goatee that he actually has a little, some beads that looks like Groot because, you know, they're best friends. And then, of course, he has his gun that transforms into his backpack, so it's, just, it's always ready for action, it transform, and it, of course, the gun is twice his size. Groot was the hardest, weirdly the hardest to nail. We wanted him to have more armor platings and almost feel like he was a big mech. What we came up with is since him and Rocket are best friends, we thought that Rocket should always be customizing Groot in the sense that it's his mech. Therefore he added an a harness to him so he could grab on to him, stay on him, use him as a turret. And all this is related to gameplay as well, it's not just story. So uh, Groot and Rocket are intertwined as designs.